City of Myrtle Beach. We are here to provide you with a fun workout using toilet paper. You might have a little extra laying around the house. This will be a full body um, cardio and strength fitness class. Uh, feel free to use one roll, two rolls, or even up to four, depending on your level of ability. So you guys have fun. All right, just like for any other exercise, you want to make sure you're warmed up first. So we're going to start moving those feet. Nice, easy march. Move those arms. Keep your head up, looking forward. Shoulders back and down. Always keeping those abs nice and tight. Good job. All right, we're going to take those toes, tap to the front, right and left. Good, make sure you're pointing those toes down. Good, take those heels down, bring those toes up. Stretching the backs of those legs. Good, take it back to a march. We're gonna keep our warm up simple today. You guys can always take it up a notch. Add a jog if you want. Good, we're gonna kick it to the front. Kick right and left. Good, we're gonna take it side to side, little kick. Good, let the leg lift. Nice. Then we're gonna take it to the back. Little kick here, squeeze your butt. Keep that chest up. Shoulders down and back, abs nice and tight. March it again, here we go. Nice job, we're gonna take that march wide. Get ready for those taps, take it side to side. Stretch out those legs, point those toes. Good, we're gonna bring those arms up and over. Nice long reach, getting ready for those sit-ups. Good, little twist to the front. Nice, right here we're gonna round those shoulders nice and big. Keep those feet tapping side to side. And roll those shoulders the other way. Good, we're gonna hold those feet, hold those shoulders. And take it lunge side to side. Again, keeping the chest up, abs nice and tight. Shoulders down and back. Let's take it to two. Side and side. Make sure we're warming up those legs. Get ready for squats. Good. Right here, we're going to bring those feet in. Reach it up nice and high. Deep breath. One more. All right. Now you guys are ready. Here we go. All right, for our first TP challenge exercise, we're gonna do squat touches. You wanna to start with at least two rolls of toilet paper. You can stack them on top of one or the other. Um, right here, right in front of your feet, feet start together. We're gonna to show you a couple options. I have two rolls of toilet paper. Wendy is a little bit shorter than me, so she has three rolls of toilet paper. It'll make it a little bit easier for her to do it. And then Linda's gonna show you a modified version where she uses four toilet paper rolls two on each side, okay? So we're gonna start feet together. You're gonna jump out or tap out like Linda's gonna do, and you're gonna touch the top of the toilet paper. Ready? Here we go. You're gonna alternate hands, right and left. Nice big squat. Good, two more. There you go, squat touches. Good job. All right, our second exercise with the TP challenge. We're gonna to do toe taps, knee taps, or heel taps. So I'm gonna show you the toe taps first. Arms gonna extend out, stand up nice and tall. Bring right leg up, left toilet paper is gonna to touch that toe. Switch sides, and then you're gonna repeat that. Wendy's gonna show us a knee tap. So instead of bringing her toilet paper to her toes, she's gonna bring her right knee up, tap, left knee up, and tap. And then Linda's gonna show us a heel tap. So she's gonna take those heels to the floor, keeping those arms in a T. All right, we're gonna do it all together. Here we go. And up. Good, keep that chest up. Abs nice and tight. 
Reach as far as you can. Two more. Nice job. All right, our third toilet paper challenge exercise is high knees. So you wanna hold your toilet, one toilet paper roll with both hands, elbows locked in tight, okay? You're gonna extend those arms just out in front. So you're making a 90 degree angle with your elbow. Stand up nice and tall. You're gonna bring your knees up to the toilet paper without moving your toilet paper up and down. Linda's gonna provide a modified version where she's gonna hold her toilet paper a little bit lower. Wendy and I are gonna do it where we bring our knees up as high as we can. All right, here we go. Bring them up, up, up. You can add another level of intensity and add a jog with those high knees. And that's all you need. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do for our toilet paper challenge we are going to do some plank taps. So we actually have three versions for you. The version that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use two rolls, stack one on top of the other, right between where your hands would go in a plank position. Linda's gonna also use two rolls, but hers are gonna be side by side, again, between where your hands would go. And Wendy's gonna use one toilet paper roll between her hands to make it a little bit easier. She doesn't have to travel as far on top. With Linda's, because they're side by side, your hands will just kind of go Just cut that out. Anyway, okay, uh, we're gonna start with plank taps. You're gonna get in a plank position. You can do a regular plank or a modified plank. It's totally up to you. Today, we're gonna choose a modified plank. Um, so you're gonna get into a plank position. Make sure those toilet paper rolls are right between your hands. You wanna keep your hips uh, facing down towards the floor, so you don't wanna twist your hips. Keep that core engaged nice and tight. You're gonna alternate your hands. So shift your weight over to one side, tap your toilet paper rolls on the top, and then switch. I'm going to the top of my rolls. Linda's tapping side to side, and Wendy's using that one roll. All right, good job. All right guys, for our next TP challenge exercise, we're gonna do half push-ups. So for this one, you only need one toilet paper roll. You're gonna put it out in front where your chest would come down to meet the floor. You're gonna do a regular push-up, um, but this time, because the toilet paper is there, it's actually gonna stop you from going all the way down and then you push back up. All right, so we're gonna do a couple for you here. Ready? And go. Just de gently tap that toilet paper, bring yourself back up. That's it. Wendy's gonna show you a modification for anyone who has neck or back issues. So watch her uh, for those modifications. I'll do a full sit up. Linda will do a half sit up. All right. So lay back, sit up or crunch position. Bring those arms over your head. Nice big exhale. Tap those toilet paper rolls. Good job, guys. All right, our next exercise with toilet paper, we're gonna do some ab crunches, touching our toes. I'm gonna show you the toe touch version, and Wendy is gonna show us a reverse crunch. Again, if you have any neck or back issues, she's gonna be leaving her neck and her back on the mat for support. Linda and I will be crunching legs and upper body together, so it'll be a little bit more challenging. All right, so you need two rolls of toilet paper, for the full crunch, Wendy's gonna just use one for her reverse crunch. Bring those legs up in the air, arms up over your head, bring those hands up. Try to touch those toes to your rolls. Nice job. Our last TP challenge exercise, you're gonna need one roll of toilet paper, we're gonna work those lower abs, okay? I'm gonna show you a full crunch where we're gonna exchange our toilet paper between our feet, back to our hands, to our feet, back to our hands. Linda's gonna show you a modified version where she's gonna exchange her toilet paper from her hands to her knees, back and forth. And then Wendy is gonna keep her head and her neck supported on the mat 
while she moves her toilet paper back and forth. So make sure you watch all three versions so you pick which one's right for you. You guys ready? Yes. Here we go, bring that toilet paper up. Bring those legs up. Tap those toes to the floor. Bring it back up, switch that toilet paper back to your hands. Take it up and down. Make sure you're breathing. Nice big exhale. Great job. We hope you guys enjoy exercising with your toilet paper.